to another video on the electoral potentials topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay so there's the diagram you would need to draw for part A. Uh, the conditions 298 Kelvin, 100 kilopascals and one mole per decimeter cubed solutions. And just make sure that your salt bridge is definitely going into the solutions. Part B, we had to choose systems 2 and 4 because it was the alkaline hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So I've written up the standard electrode potential values for each electrode. So because the oxygen electrode has the more positive um, standard electrode potential, its half equation will run left to right, so as it appears on the table. Whereas the hydrogen one is going to be written backwards because it's got the less positive electrode potential value. And the overall equation for the cell, obviously we needed to double the hydrogen uh, equation, add it to this and then cancel down gives us this equation here for the cell. The standard cell potential of the fuel cell, well most positive minus least gives 1.23 volts. An important difference between a fuel cell and a conventional storage cell, so something like this, the fuel cells require a constant supply of fuel going to the cell, whereas a storage cell, as implied by the name, the chemicals are stored within the cell. Part D, a reason why fuel cells may not be carbon neutral, could be that fossil fuels might be used to make the cell or to produce the hydrogen. And finally, part E is quite a rare calculation. You don't really see them with uh, electro potentials questions. So we're told that the chromium electrode gains mass. So that's implying that the Cr3 plus ions are gaining the three electrons and becoming chromium. And we're also told that the electrode made of metal X loses mass. So obviously the X atoms are turning into X2 plus ions and obviously giving up two electrons in the process. So from that, we can write the overall equation for the reaction. And all I've done is multiplied the chromium 1 by 2 and the X1 by 3 to get the electrons to cancel. And then from this mass information, we can work out the moles of chromium that's been um, gained. So mass over MR, 0 0.028. And then from the mole ratio in this overall equation, we can work out the moles of X that's been lost. So that's going to be 3 over 2 times the moles of chromium. So 0 0.042 moles of um, X has been lost. So now we know the mass of X that's been lost. We know how many moles that was. We can work out the MR. Mass over moles, 24.3. So X must be magnesium. 